Chapter 190 Martial Soul True Body. This weird yet frightening scene could be clearly seen from the sky. The heads that blew apart resembled blood red flowers. While they dazzled, they withered instantly. As they withered, it also meant that the lives of the soul engineers were about to end. What skill did they use? There were several soul engineers. Each of them was at least a soul ancestor. However, they were all instantly killed by this strange yet terrifying soul skill. Both parties were in shock as they watched the blood that flowed in the heads that were blown apart. The youth that had rebutted Huo Yuao earlier turned pale from fright. His mind was completely blank now. The only thought that he had was how was it possible for Huo Yuao and Wang Dong to possess such frightening abilities even though they were so young? What skill were they using? Is it a martial fusion soul skill? KK muttered. Ju Zi bit her lips and watched as the two of them rushed over. She was thankful at this moment. They had succeeded. There were more than 80 soul engineers. However, these soul engineers were all quickly killed. None of them survived. Not only was the greatest strength of the enemy eliminated, but the enemy was also intimidated. The troops that had surrounded the mountain were now advancing at a slower pace. This was especially so for the troops on the side of the soul engineers that were killed. Is that his real strength? The strength that he unleashed with his partner, Shrek Academy, is deservedly the best academy on the continent. Who are you, Al? You've saved me once again. Why is fate making a fool of me? Why am I seeing you again? Tears streamed uncontrollably down Ju Zi's cheeks. Who are you, Al? And Wang Dong quickly made their way up to the mountain top. They didn't utter a sound, but instead immediately sat cross-legged on the ground. Who are you, Al's right hand and Wang Dong's left hand met. The power circulated, and golden light left arm bone was activated as they quickly restored their soul power. They also held onto milk bottles with their other hand to replenish their soul power. At this moment, at this moment, they fully demonstrated the difference between their martial souls and the martial souls of the soul engineers around them. They were consuming the same class 4 milk bottles, but they managed to finish absorbing the soul power within them in half a minute. The two of them quickly took out more milk bottles and continued to absorb more soul power. It wasn't sufficient to just absorb the soul power in the milk bottles. One's body had to be strong enough to withstand the high rate of absorption. Otherwise, side effects might arise from absorbing it too quickly. Juzi's face turned cold as she shouted at the soul engineers around her. What are all of you looking at? Take your positions and be ready for battle. Do you think the enemy will stop attacking us just because their soul engineers are dead? Yes. The soul engineers who were low on morale earlier started to become excited. They used the terrain to find suitable offensive spots. They were defensively prepared. Who are you out and Wang Dong's abilities didn't just defeat the enemy soul engineers. They also boosted the morale of the soul engineers that Ju Zi commanded. When they realized that it would be very difficult for them to escape, and they were surrounded by the enemy's troops, their morale was very low. They knew that their own troops would trap the enemy and get rid of them. However, just as Who are you out had mentioned, how long could they survive? They couldn't. But Who are you out and Wang Dong's dominant performance ignited their hopes again. No one would want to die if they could survive. Moreover, the two of them who had just performed a miracle were on their side. If they were able to kill more than 80 soul engineers, the rest of the ordinary soldiers were nothing to them. Their morale was high with such a belief, and the milk bottles to support them. Ju Zi and KK looked at each other, and they both heaved a sigh of relief. They knew that their chances of survival had been greatly boosted. Ju Zi didn't look at Who are you out again. She was afraid of affecting her emotions. She started to command her troops calmly and adjusted their positions. She also peered into the distance. Their reinforcements should be arriving soon. Who are you out shut his eyes. He was also astonished by such a scene. After all, it was his first time killing so many people at one go. Even though this was the battlefield, it still impacted him. He could maintain his composure during the battle. However, some emotional fluctuations were inevitable after the battle. He still remembered that had told him that he needed to step onto a battlefield if he wanted to realize the ultimate soldier plan. Today, he had stepped onto a battlefield against the thousands of enemy troops. He had to protect his partner and save someone who was once his friend. The pressure didn't make him anxious, but fearful. It was a fear amidst excitement. Huo Yuao and Wang Dong weren't superior to the over 80 soul engineers just because they had completed their move. This was the result of Huo Yuao's perfect grasp and control of the enemy's mindset and condition. The psychological lessons of the ultimate soldier plan were coming into use now. His spiritual detection had allowed him to tell that the enemy soul engineers were relaxed after they had completed their encirclement. Furthermore, they were also depleted after their long pursuit. They didn't expect anyone from Juzi's camp to rush out to attack them so suddenly under such a circumstance. Huo Yuao had exploited the enemy's complacency. He and Wang Dong rushed towards them at an alarming speed. At an alarming speed. When the soul engineers reacted, they were already able to unleash their strongest fighting strength. These calculations had formed in Huo Yuao's mind instantly. His instant kill strike with Wang Dong was also built on his precise calculations. The enemy's troops were tired and hurt. Along with Ju Zi's intelligence, he had accurately estimated their enemy's abilities. This had allowed them to succeed. Of course, their martial fusion soul skill was very powerful. As their abilities continued to improve, their martial fusion soul skills grew along with their cultivations. This was the scariest part of their martial fusion soul skills. For an ordinary soul master, the might of his soul skills was restricted by his cultivation and control. In addition, the age of his soul rings was also an important factor. However, a martial fusion soul skill would grow more powerful as one's cultivation increased regardless of who he was. Of course, that was not including Huo Yuao's extraordinary situation. Huo Yuao was a soul ancestor. While Wang Dong was a soul emperor, their combined martial fusion soul skill couldn't even be resisted by a seven ring soul sage. Furthermore, the mantra amidst the void, spiritual tempest they had unleashed earlier had been a spiritual power attack using a soul skill. The true meaning behind it was like the long range attack version of the sovereign's descent. It was even formed by the combination of Huo Yuao and Wang Dong's power. The spiritual tempest exhibited a terrifying lethality. Those class four and class five soul engineers had enhanced their soul power using medicine. Thus their foundations weren't stable. They also weren't supported by stable spiritual power. All of them were struck once by Huo Yuao's complete spiritual shock mixed with the explosive force of the clear sky hammer. This strike was fast yet effective. The greatest threat was wiped out in one blow. After remaining silent for a while, the enemies attacked again. However, their morale was greatly affected. This was especially so for those who had seen the soul engineers being wiped out. They moved extremely slowly. Unfortunately, not everyone from the enemy's troops had witnessed what had happened. Some of the soldiers that came from different directions burst up the mountain quickly. The sounds of soul cannons and soul rays being fired echoed repeatedly. With the milk bottles and their high morale, Ju Zi and her group resisted the enemy's advance to the greatest of their abilities. Lights could be seen shining from the mountaintop from afar. They reached all the way to the enemy's camp and caused intense explosive booms. A soul engineer's lethality on the battlefield couldn't be matched by soul masters at the same level. This was especially so against ordinary soldiers. Soul cannon shells landed amongst the enemy's troops and blew apart, releasing balls of intense light. The soldiers were completely blown apart. Blood spurted, and flesh was strewn all over the place. The explosive strength of a class four soul cannon could cause massive destruction within a hundred square meters radius. Every blast was sufficient to kill tens of soldiers. While soul rays were weaker, they were weaker, they were more accurate. As they complemented the soul cannons, the death toll of the enemy rose beyond 500 in a matter of minutes. However, the repeated attacks also depleted the soul power of the soul engineers. The arrows the soldiers used were useless against these soul engineers. They couldn't do anything against the soul engineers once physical protective soul barriers were used to block them. The enemy's first wave of attacks was held off. Those on the mountaintop cheered. Ju Zi's calm command was very effective. She held the fort with KK at the center. They would rush to whichever side was under threat. They were both class six soul engineers, the strongest after Huo Yuao and Wang
attention, which diminished the effect of their soul tools on the enemy. Suddenly, someone exclaimed in surprise, Look, our reinforcements have arrived. Juzi gazed into the distance, and indeed, troops drifted into her view from afar. They were closing in from all directions. The sounds of killing resonated and shook the skies. Her strategy, bait the enemy before ambushing them, had finally succeeded. The enemy was caught at a loss, as they were surrounded by an even larger army of soldiers. However, a bright yellow flag was lifted high in the enemy's camp at this moment. A man leapt up and stood steadily on a huge steed. He waved the flag in the air, and his voice reverberated throughout the battlefield. Men under the glorious lord, listen up. I'm the eldest son of the glorious lord and the heir to his position, General Jiao Yang of the Duchy. I'll lead everyone out of this danger. The commander of the troops at the top of the mountain is the fiance of the Sun Moon Empire's crown prince. If we catch her, the enemy troops will immediately surrender. They won't dare to touch us. This is our only way out. As he spoke, the man leapt onto another huge steed, holding the bright yellow flag high. He burst straight towards the mountaintop. This General Jiao Yang wasn't supposed to command the troops in this expedition. His younger cousin was supposed to be commanding the troops. He specially came to hold the fort for his younger cousin. Seeing that the situation had gone awry, he had no choice but to personally attack. He quickly retrieved his golden helmet and armor from his storage type soul tool. As he buckled his armor on and prepared to fight, he also used his actions and voice to boost his troops morale. He had the aura of a general. Of course, his sound amplifying soul tool played a big part too. The soul engineers on the mountaintop were cheering after they noticed that their reinforcements had arrived. However, they also heard the general's words. Everyone's attention was drawn to Juzi. They weren't stunned right now, but they were in utter disbelief. They didn't expect that the person commanding them and fighting alongside them at the front line was the fiance of the current crown prince. Juzi had never revealed her identity to them. Ever since she had joined the military, she had worked her way up the ranks as a class six soul engineer. She also didn't know how this news was leaked and how sleep, and how the other party knew her true identity. She was the one who had devised the plan to trap the enemy. She had dared to take such a risk despite her status. These soul engineers felt that there was something choking their hearts. Juzi's eyes flashed with a cold light. She knew that there must be a spy close to the crown prince. Otherwise, her identity wouldn't have been exposed so quickly. She took a deep breath and looked at the soul engineers around her. She said in a deep voice, "He's right. I'm the fiance of the crown prince. However, I'm also a warrior of the empire. Today, I'll live and die with all of you. The reinforcements are in front of us. We must fight for our survival. We must win, and we must hang on until our reinforcements arrive." As she spoke, she led the charge towards Jiayang. KK shouted, "What are all of you doing? The enemy is here." Even the crown prince's fiance is willing to give her all for us. Are we going to let them hurt her? Protect the crown prince's wife with our lives? One young soul engineer shouted with all his might as he lifted his soul cannon. His eyes spurted with fire as he fired the soul cannon towards the enemy troops. Their morale was lifted to an unprecedented level. They were doing it for Juzi's bravery in their hopes of survival. It was just that none of them noticed that Wang Dong and Huo Yuao had already opened their eyes at this point. They looked at each other, and Wang Dong said softly, Crown Prince's fiance, Huo Yuao laughed bitterly. I don't know anything about that. However, this sort of explains why she's so mysterious. No matter what, I owe her a favor today. As for the rest, let's just wait until the future. Wang Dong nodded his head slightly. Do whatever you want. Huo Yuao laughed. Even though he was surrounded by enemy troops, he realized that he wasn't nervous at all. It was because he had a brother and a partner that was willing to live and die with him beside him right now. Under Jiao Yang's fall, the frantic rebel troops finally found their release. While the troops on the mountaintop needed to survive, so did they. They knew the consequences of being trapped by the Empire's troops. To survive, they needed to give their all. The intensity of their attack soared. The heavily armored soldiers quickly reached the mountain slope with the help of steeds. They even gave up their weapons, instead choosing to lift giant shields that were each carried by two soldiers up the mountain slope. After all, this mountain slope was less than 200 meters high. The mountain didn't have any particular geographical advantage either. The troops were about to completely surround the soul engineers on the mountaintop. Although soul cannons were very powerful, they depleted one soul power greatly. A class four milk bottle couldn't last long. Moreover, Juzi and the others were also injured and fatigued. At this time. They relied on their will and courage to sustain themselves. The giant shields couldn't resist the attacks of class 4 and above soul cannons. However, the destructiveness of the soul cannons was greatly reduced by the giant shields. The enemy troops were slowly making their way up the mountain. Move. I'll do it. Zhao Yang shouted. He was 36 this year. He was in the prime of his life. The glorious lord had rebelled and wanted to create a duchy because of Zhao Yang. If not for the fact that Zhao Yang fact that Jiao Yang was ambitious and the glorious lord's territories were like fortresses. Why would the aging glorious lord who wasn't even a soul master make such a decisive call? Jiao Yang was a genius. Although he was a part of the Sun Moon Empire, he had never liked soul tools. He was more interested in developing his own abilities. He had inherited his mother genes and possessed a rather strong martial soul, the violent bear. He was already a soul sage even though he was just 36 years old. In terms of abilities, he was always the strongest among everyone under the glorious lord. The glorious lord was responsible for guarding the northern region of the Sun Moon Empire. His sudden uprising caused the empire to be caught at a loss. His explanation was also very simple. He just wanted to set up a duchy and was even willing to double his tribute to the empire. He just hoped to receive its recognition. The Sun Moon Empire's emperor was plagued with illness and had lost the sharpness he had once had. He didn't rush to use military force against the glorious lord as he was afraid of the reaction such an Action might provoke from the Heaven Do Empire and Star Luo Empire. However, the Crown Prince continued to take a hard stance and label him as a rebel that needed to be killed. That was the only way to intimidate the Empire's nobility that had been conferred land in the Empire. Eventually, the Crown Prince managed to obtain the Emperor's recognition with the help of Jing Hing Chen and a branch of direct descendants. The military, mainly composed of his own troops, was also sent out to quell the rebellion. Zhu Zi, who had been in many wars and even fought against the Soul Masters in the Western Sea, also joined in the fight against the rebels. She had earned enough merit to become the leader of a small group of Soul Engineers. Her position couldn't be underestimated. In the Sun Moon Empire's military, there were four divisions of Soul Engineers. Each division consisted of roughly a thousand Soul Engineers. These four thousand Soul Engineers were the cornerstone of the Sun Moon Empire. To be able to command a hundred of these Soul Engineers, Zhu Zi's position was comparable to a leader of an infantry division. If the soul engineers were suitably utilized, they could change the outcome of the war. Juzi also realized why there was a group of soul engineers chasing them after listening to Jiao Yang. Those soul engineers were probably the final remaining trump card of the Glorious Lord. Now that they had been destroyed, they were likely to achieve victory if they could hold out. The rebel troops were unlikely to have any further chips that they could use. Jiao Yang's thinking was also very simple. After the Empire adamantly rejected their tribute, labeled them as rebels and even brought the military in against them, he realized that setting up a duchy in the Sun Moon Empire was a foolish thing. The Glorious Lord's camp was a mess now. The reason why they had gone all out today and sent out their soul engineers as well as the entire army was because they wanted to capture Juzi, who they had discovered was the Crown Prince's fiance from insider information. He had never thought of hurting Juzi. He just wanted to capture her alive and use her as a chip to negotiate with the Sun Moon Empire. He naturally knew that Shu Tian Ran was in charge. He had already thought of an escape plan for himself. His demands weren't too unreasonable either. He was willing he was willing to surrender and give up his military power. All he asked for was to keep his land and wealth. However, all this was only possible if he could capture Juzi. Otherwise, there wasn't any way that he could
Lords. He's developed muscles, but he's shed apart. Two yellow, two purple, and three black soul rings suddenly rose from his feet. The morale of the glorious Lords army soared when they saw his seven soul rings flashing. They followed their general as they dashed up the mountain. The immense pressure caused the soul engineers at the top of the mountain to start yielding. The enemy troops didn't seem to care about their lives as they rushed up the mountain. The soul cannons and soul rays were unable to comprehensively repress the enemy troops anymore. There were already a few soldiers who had made it to the top of the mountain, and a few close combat soul engineers were starting to fight them. Jia Yan managed to spot Zhu Zi in her white warrior robe, continuously throwing out orange soul bombs. Zhu Zi naturally spotted him too. She looked a little pale at this point. Her soul power had been depleted too much, and she was completely spent now. The reinforcements were charging over. They were already killing their way towards them from the back of the rebels. But there were too many soldiers from the glorious Lord's army. It was impossible to kill them all in one shot. Zhao Yang was too quick. When he was around 50 meters away from the top of the mountain, he started to receive a barrage of attacks from the soul engineers. However, he was very strong, holding a giant shield in each hand. As he blocked the attacks, his speed didn't decrease. Let me do it. KK shouted, and her heavy lightning cannon aimed towards Jiayang. She poured in all her soul power, and an intense bolt of lightning gathered at the barrel of the cannon. Jia Yang's senses were very accurate as a soul sage. He could sense the imminent threat, and quickly flung his shields towards the top of the mountain. They were aimed towards KK. At the same time, his first and third soul rings lit up brightly. A golden glow surfaced on his skin. Not only that, but he was expanding greatly in size. His developed muscles made him seem like a real storm bear. His first soul skill was the golden body, and his third soul skill was berserk. The violent gold bear possessed a little of the dark gold and terracore bear's lineage. It was also one of the strongest among all the bear type martial souls. It was adept at defense and offense, and possessed great and possessed great strength as well. KK grit her teeth and ignored the two huge shields that he flung at her. She fired the heavy lightning cannon. A bluish purple soul cannon shell a foot wide was fired towards Zhao Yang. Bolts of lightning flashed, and the air started to distort. The soldiers didn't even have to contact the bolts of lightning before they died. As the lightning passed them, they were instantly turned to ash. Zhao Yang snorted and reached out his right hand to his side. He grabbed hold of a heavily armored soldier before flinging him upwards. He had unleashed his defensive soul skills to confuse KK. Why would he try to resist the class 5 heavy lightning cannon with his body? A tremendous boom rocked the air, and many soldiers were instantly blown apart. A ball of bluish purple light exploded in the air, and a powerful shockwave threw hundreds of people off their feet. As the lightning flashed, the soldiers in the vicinity of the explosion were all turned to ash at the same time, or sent flying into the air. Zhao Yang didn't retreat even in the face of the shockwave, resisting the shockwave forcefully. However, he was also stunned to discover that KK was still alive even after he flung the shields at her. Two figures had appeared in front of her. The two giant shields were held steadily in the hands of a young man. The teenager simply stood there, but he brought immense pressure down on Jia Yang. This pressure didn't come from his abilities, but from his spirit. Jia Yang had once been to Radiant City around six years before, and met Xu Tianran there. At that time, Xu Tianran had left a deep impression in his mind. Right now, this youth exuded an aura that was exactly the same as Xu Tianran then, but even more impressive. Who was he? Jiao Yang was on the other side of the mountain previously, and hadn't seen his group of soul engineers being wiped out. When the news reached him, the Empire's army had already arrived. Jiao Yang didn't know that there were two strong individuals on Juzi's side that had wiped out his entire group of soul engineers. Yes, the person who had caught the two shields was Huo Yuao. The shields were heavy, and flung with great force. However, they were thrown upwards, and their force was reduced with the distance. Moreover, Huo Yuao had wanged on beside him. As they combined their Houdon power and he unleashed his ultimate martial soul, it was easy for him to catch the pair of shields. The Ice Empress Kinsas grabbed hold of the two shields steadily. Huo Yuao took in a deep breath. He knew that he couldn't hold back at this point, or they wouldn't survive. Four white soul rings rose from his feet. The soul engineers around him were shocked. Those were all ten-year soul rings. Huo Yuao flung the two shields back towards the enemy troops. His right hand covered his forehead, and he shut his eyes. A strange of white started to rise from his head into the sky. Only Wang Dong, who had moved behind him and was pressing his hands against his back, knew that he knew that Huo Yuao was covering his forehead to cover the light that came from the Eye of Destiny. The white halo rose around 10 meters before it started to spread over its surroundings. After that, the halo descended again. The white halo rolled almost 100 meters down the mountain. As it washed past the rebel troops, they all collapsed like cut wheat. After that, they rolled down the hill weakly. Only Jiao Yang was left on the battlefield now. That white halo also touched Jiao Yang, who felt a wave of weakness spreading through his entire body. He circulated his soul power at an intense rate before he managed to maintain his fighting will and keep from being affected by this weakness. What soul skill was that? It wasn't a mass attack, but a mass control type soul skill. Enfeeblement. It was so strong that the soldiers couldn't even lift their own armor after being affected by it. Is he a control type soul master? He was shocked as he looked at Huo Yuao. He couldn't understand how a four ring soul ancestor with only four ten year soul rings was able to unleash a soul skill that could incapacitate thousands of soldiers, sending them rolling and falling down the hill. Huo Yuao's attack managed to make some breathing room for Zhu Zi and the others. The Empire's army was not to be trifled with. It wasn't just Zhu Zi and her team of soul engineers that were involved in this war. There were more than five teams involved. This was the greatest number of troops that Xu Tian ran to activate. He wanted to accomplish this mission in one go. This was also a very important matter in his overall plan. The senior management in the Sun Moon Empire's military knew of Zhu Zi's identity, but were helpless, and she was adamant on leading her troops personally. After all, she was representing the Crown Prince. Furthermore, she was only his fiance, and they were yet to be married. While they acceded to her wishes, they still had to protect. Her. The crown prince's direct descendants knew that no one was supposed to touch her except the crown prince, and she was also his most trusted confidant. Otherwise, he wouldn't have chosen her as his wife. She was even going to be his official wife and the future empress. That was why the other four teams of soul engineers were part of the reinforcements that arrived. They came using flying type soul tools and threw automatic soul bombs downwards, blowing the rebel troops apart. This helped to alleviate the pressure on those atop the hill. Zhao Yang knew that his chances were getting slimmer and slimmer. He could only rely on himself now. He needed to capture Juzi. Otherwise, the crown prince would never spare him. Time wasn't going to wait for him. He thumped his chest and let out a furious roar. His fifth soul ring also started to shine brightly. The soul engineers on the mountain top lost their other targets after Huo Yuao used enfeeblement, so they were going to focus all their attacks on Zhao Yang. However, his roar caused all of them, apart from Huo Yuao, Wang Dong, and Juzi, to collapse to the ground. Even Huo Yuao and the other two were a little dizzy as they were affected by his roar. A buzzing sound rang continually in their ears as they staggered. It was Huo Yuao's first time experiencing such insonic soul skill. He was a little lost at this moment. When he used his spiritual detection, he had only sensed Jia Yang's soul power surging toward his head. Jia Yang took this chance to advance. He didn't go straight for Juzi, but went after Huo Yuao instead. He was clearly aware of how scary a control type soul master was on a battlefield. If he wanted to capture Juzi, he had to settle Huo Yuao first. As a seven ring soul sage, he realized that Huo Yuao must have a way of concealing the colors of his soul rings after his momentary shock from experiencing his enfeeblement earlier. But that wasn't the important thing. The important issue was that Huo Yuao couldn't possibly be stronger than him, since he was so young. Moreover, he didn't have an escape route now. Seeing that he was getting closer to Huo Yuao, he reached out his huge hand